everybody, welcome back and hop a day. This is Fiesta Friday. I'm Jason Salas. Thanks so much for watching. Now, Operation Christmas Drop in years past was a huge event that the community really got involved with. It's our friends in the military doing what they can to contribute and help our brothers and sisters in the Outer Islands. Now, it's been going on for quite a while now, and we have two people right now who are going to explain the program and how it continues to thrive here in the region. We have Miss Gilly Gallardo. Hop a day. Thank you for having us. And Rob Muller, back and better than ever. Of course, you were here last week talking about the golf tournament, which goes on tomorrow, as I understand, for Operation Christmas Drop. Yes, sir. Thanks again for having us, Jason. And yes, our golf tournament is tomorrow. Uh, we had to push it back a week. We were expecting some bad weather, but uh, tomorrow it looks good, and uh, we're hoping it's a great turnout. Okay, so just to make sure that everybody can register, um, if they have not yet, where's the number that they can call or website they can check out? Uh, we can check, it, check us out on our Facebook page, uh, which will have the information, or go to Starts Golf Center. Uh, they also have all of our information. You can register there, and um, or at our Facebook page, we'll also have some phone numbers of some individuals that will be happy to take your phone call. All right, most excellent. Now, Operation Christmas Drop, getting to the meat of the conversation, uh, was an event, like I said, where you know it was predominantly, I believe, a military exercise or a mission uh, that would bring various items and goodwill items to you know people in the region so explain the um, the history behind the program um, in 1952 the 54th weather reconnaissance squadron that was formerly stationed at anderson air force base is now well it's now in japan uh, they were doing a mission the south of guam and they saw some islanders uh, just hanging out waving at the planes because they were doing low flying missions part of their training and the crew got together and they were like hey let's uh, give these people some stuff so they utilized their training, they got all some stuff on the plane, you know, some food, maybe some memories or something, bundled it all up and dropped it down to them. And, you know, they saw, they were low flying, so they saw all the Islanders be all happy and it was around Christmas time. And so, you know, they felt really good about that. And it was 1952. Mm -hmm. So this has been going on since 1952, 62 years. So ever since then, every year we get together and they do this low flying mission and also do this humanitarian. Outstanding. So, and it's not necessarily a military mission, Rob, is that correct? That, that is correct, mm -hmm. at least on the Operation Christmas Drop side. Mm -hmm. So Operation Christmas Drop is the humanitarian part where we gather all that aid, where we really call upon the people of Guam and, and uh, basically everybody on this island to gather up as much goods as possible um, that the islanders need. And then we partner up with the Air Force at the end of the year through an agreement. It's called the Adenton Agreement. And basically what that says is, hey, um, you have all this humanitarian aid in the, in the military or the DOD, the Department of Defense, is willing to take that aid and distribute it throughout wherever you need it, um, you know, as long as, as, long as there's a, a need. And since these islanders, you know, they don't have uh, stores, they don't have running water, they don't have anywhere to go to go get this type of aid, the, uh, the Department of Defense is willing to transport it out there for us. So mm -hmm. that's kind of where it comes in and becomes a military mission. And um, also, the military has also been able to utilize this Operation Christmas Drop for their own benefit, and they use it for this, the, the low-level the low level drops. So not only are we providing aid, but the military is also getting a benefit by getting training and dropping things you know, on a, a small target and uh, bringing this wrapped gift uh, to the islanders that they desperately need and also giving us training that we desperately need. Now I remember as a kid when the stories about Operation Christmas Drop would you know like pop up right around the holiday season or as it was approaching it was always a big thing and they said you know the C-130s would take off from Anderson and they'd be you know uh, filled with again goodwill items because you know the military folks are the best in the business at doing that and as you said you know it's a training oppor opportunity for them. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of gear is used to transport um, the materials these days? That's a good question, Jason. A very good question. <laughs> um, or, is, or is that a matter of security and everything, which we completely respect? No, 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 no. Um, we have come up with a, a very unique style of, of delivering this package. We, we use plywood and, and basically some cardboard boxes, and we've experimented with some, with some foam uh, this last year, and we're hoping to use the same thing this year because as we drop these items, they land on, not on the beach, we hope they don't land on the beach because we don't want to hit anybody, <laughs> but we aim for the reef just short of the beach. And so we want the items to float, and we've been using plywood on the bottom and top, and uh, we've been parachuting it down, we've been wrapping everything to create an air bubble, but the, uh, this year and the end of last year, we've been using uh, foam, which is a little bit more expensive, but it allows the packages to float and make sure that the islanders get everything intact and they're able to use it. So that's a, an item that we've been experimenting with that we want to use this year, 
But it, like I said, it's expensive, and we're really reaching out to people for, for some monetary assets or if they're willing to donate some, some foam backing and, and, mm -hmm. and card cardboard or cardboard boxes and plywood. Uh, we would really appreciate that, and we need that to, to deliver those cool. items. In terms of other materials that you may be looking for, because, you know, like part of being an islander is taking care of your neighbors as well as, you know, your own family members. And, you know, out here in the region, we're all related at some point. Uh, what would you be looking for, and how can we contribute? Well, on our Facebook page, Operation Christmas Drop, or you can email us at christmasdroporganization at gmail.com. There's a wish list actually up there right now because we have a guy who works at UOG right now who has a radio contact with the Islanders and they give us a wish list every year. So this year they're looking for seeds, um, you know, uh, pottery stuff and, you know, tools. Tools is always a big one, not machetes though. We'll take <laughs> anything but machetes. That's dangerous. But uh, tools, uh, actually anything that you would give to the Goodwill because they can use it for anything. So you have like a rag and you're like, oh, no one's going to use that. But, you know, they can make a blanket out of it. They could filter water with it. They can make a net to catch fish or something. Uh, one year we had someone donate some stilettos, and they actually open up coconuts with that. So anything that you want to give, uh, you can either contact us, and we'll come and pick it up, or we have drop boxes at Payless. We also have drop boxes at Anderson Air Force Base, the Navy Base, uh, GPO, and Micronesia Mall. Okay. But uh, again, get with us. We can come pick up your stuff because even if you just want to get rid of it, we're going to go through all of it at the end to see if we can use it. All right. We got 15 seconds of final words. Uh, yes. First of all, thank you for having us again. And uh, please get out there, check us out, help us out so we can help uh, the Islanders out. And uh, let's make this year a great event. All right. Final words, Keelan? Mm -hmm. Thank you for having us. And I look forward to speaking to all of you guys. All right. Thank you so much. Good thank luck. You. Mm -hmm. All right. It. Please stay tuned because we will be right back. More Fiesta Friday when we continue after this.